Gertrude Stein, a star is a star is a star. And in any era, any age, this lady certainly is a star. And how perfect to present the award for your favorite motion picture song or musical theme. From the golden age of those Warner Brothers musicals, dancing her way from the silver screen right into all our hearts, ladies and gentlemen, Miss Ruby Keeler. much dancing of late but in thinking of the motion picture songs you nominated as your favorites it couldn't help but trigger a few happy dancing memories for me for example one of your favorites is the title song of that wonderful movie fame when I was making musicals at Warner Brothers, fame was the theme of practically every one of them. I usually played the understudy, hoping to go on opening night and praying for the star to break her leg. She usually did just in time for me to run out on the stage and say, hear the beat of dancing feet, the avenue I'm taking you to 42nd Street. <laughs> Another of your favorites is the delightful song that uh, is the delightful, uh, I mean, is, uh, is the title song of another delightful movie, Xanadu. It's about a goddess, an angel, who becomes a mortal because she falls in love. And I can hear Dick Powell singing, you may not be an angel, for angels are for so few, but until the day that one comes along, I'll string along with you. <laughs> and the third favorite you nominated nine to five made me remember go into your dance with al jolson who sang to me my loving arms are gonna tenderly twine around you about a quarter to nine wow. <laughs> oh is, i'm down to there no I I don't think so. I'm sorry, I have to introduce someone else, I think. Oh, well, this is something new, but I'll read that. Ladies and gentlemen, I have an announcement to make. Tonight, my past has finally caught up with me. Those movies about leading ladies getting sick and understudies taking over, well, Tonight, it's all come true. You may have heard that Dolly Parton, who wrote Nine to Five, is sick. Was sick last week. Oh, she was so sick last week that she had to cancel her other engagements. Well, we hoped she would be better tonight, but unfortunately, she isn't. So here, I haven't told you that nine to five is the third nomination. And I haven't. <laughs> and in the great tradition of those pictures I made, someone sensational is standing by 
set to fill Dolly's shoes, and only his shoes. <laughs> but just the shoes. Will you welcome, please, Dolly Parton's co-star, the marvelous villain of 9 to 5, Mr. Dabney Coleman. <clears throat> 9 to 5 is the winner. Yes, thank you. Yes, 9 to 5 is the winner. You didn't have to say that. We didn't say that you were the winner, but the, the, they are the winners. <laughs> Great little dancer. Dolly, I've, 